Hey guys, this is Civil Bro Minak, and today we are going to see how to design file in the Tecla structural design. Okay, so uh, first of all, for designing file in the Tecla, uh, I'm just showing you what you need. So you need uh, to design a building properly in Tecla with whichever code you are using. Suppose if I am using a IS code, I have to I have to design a uh, model the building first. Uh, apply all the suitable loads and then perform the design and after that only i'll be able to design the uh, foundation whether it be it pile or anything so in this video is specifically for the pile foundation design so for the pile foundation design you need the soil test report generally you need soil test report for any type of foundation but pile specifically you will definitely need the soil test report so let's uh, you know given uh, just uh, tell you with an example how to just what are the things important this is the important things which you know, need to know from a soil test report so this is the building which uh, you know this is designed in tecla for you okay so we are going to design the pile for this so the first thing which you need to look into the soil test report is this what is the you know uh, depth which has been suggested in the soil test report so you know when uh, you know the soil test agency or the firm you know conducts a soil test it uh, selects number of points number of uh, you know so boreholes where they collect the undisturbed soil samples and they perform the test and based on the log data and uh, you know other calculations they suggest the foundation depth which is considered we'll know more about this so this is a you know there that uh like you can see in this report two types of foundation depth can be considered 10 meter and 22 meter now why this they are telling 10 meter and 22 meter i'll just get into this uh a little bit later i'll just uh, show you now so next thing so i know that i can uh, give my pile at 10 meter and 22 meter and i also know that uh, the uh, various uh, you know your diameters of the pipes which which we can give 450 500 and 550 so basically three diameters are there i can use any of these three and my capacities are given okay and the detailed uh, you know calculation you will find here in another page uh, in, in a particular your soil test report you will find a detailed you know calculation here uh, in which the pile capacity calculation how they calculate the pile capacity is given and the safe axial load carrying capacity is given uh, you can see that the load carrying capacity is high it is around 90 and uh, they are tell, they're taking 35 so because you know in soil we take a high factor of safety 2.5 factor of safety so that's why it, we are considering only 35 ton okay so 35 ton is the you know capacity for the 500 dia pile which you are going to design in the tecla okay so all you need to know is so okay so this is the 0.45 dia pile sorry and uh, for the you know uh, 0.5 diapile it is 42 ton okay so 42 ton is this so this is all we need to know another thing uh, which i just started with the beginning is your uh, you know what is how do you how do the, do the soil test agency you know know that only i'll give pile at this depth why not i can decide yes uh, so that question is very important you should know that basics uh, of it so that when you next time see a soil test report you are able to analyze it properly so see the bold log data okay uh, generally geotechnical engineers have a good idea of this bold log and soil testing but structural engineers uh, if they're not uh, trained in that may you know find difficulty so that's what i'm telling so uh, you can see this here we are having here soft silty clay so soft silty clay pile cannot be given yeah friction pile we're designing a friction pile here um, because uh, and uh, pile cannot be given in the soft silt clay in the sand portion yes pile can be given that's why i have suggested a pile in the 10 meter now another question arises why 10 meter why not you know 13 meter because like uh, we are giving a 10 meter because below if you give a 10 meter also there will be uh, after 10 there will be 4.5 meters of sand so if, even if the pile settles or something there will be some sand in the bottom for you know your enough your uh, you know backup so that's why i'm just speaking the common general times not getting into too much technical test so you have to do it in sand and you have to make sure that you know if you're giving it sand sufficient cover is left at the bottom so one one option which is given in the soil test report is 10 meter and the second option which is given obviously is 22 meter pile so obviously the 22 meter pile will have more capacity than the 10 meter pile and you can design as per your design you can go for any one of them so we are going to go with you know this data this particular data that is uh, your uh, sorry uh, this one uh, this particular data uh, 500 we are going to consider 500 dia pile 
and a capacity of 42 ton and you can design it any software i am going to show you how to design in tecla structural designer so i have opened the interface of the tecla structural designer as you can see here and now uh, i'm going to uh, input the values okay so first of all make sure your support is fixed right so how to if you, by default the uh, supports of tecla are not fixed so for making the uh, support fixed you just you know just uh, select all the supports here right so, and then all these things you make as fixed typically mz will be fixed in tecla but mx and my will not be fixed to so just make this fixed okay and after that uh, perform the design so you know just perform this design all static and uh, when once the you know this uh, perform of the design is done and then you will go to this foundation okay foundation then you will go to catalog so i had earlier given a uh, you know this catalog uh, data so that that's why i you know there is no option to delete it for now so that's why i cannot delete it but when you go open the catalog for the first time you just click on add okay so when you click on add then i'll show you what are the things that you need to enter i'll just edit it because i'm just uh, doing it again you can name the file anything so suppose i will uh, go here p uh, 500 mm file okay i'm just naming this you can give any any type of name and now installation there are three types of installation a bore a driven and cfa so you know this uh, if you search for the cfa you'll get what what is the cfa generally you'll find this two types of one board and driven so when a pile is driven suppose uh, we have a soil and the pile is driven and the soil displaces and the pile goes inside this is a, a type of pile and the board pile in especially in uh, wherever i have worked in india this is the more common type of pile the board pile board pile is cast in situ that is it is cast at site we we make a board through the help of an auger and then we insert the reinforcement case then we place the concrete do, do, do the concrete with the help of a trimmy pipe so that is the common type of pile if, if you're not sure uh, you know, what your pile type is you can check that out okay so but generally you have a board you know pile and then shape is circular and square both you can use uh you know uh, you know the cap file capacity which you have given as you can see this that was a circular pile so i'm going for the circular pile dimension you know you can just uh just uh, change the dimension here dimension it is saying in mm and length also it is giving suppose i want to give a dimension of 500 and mm, okay and then uh the length length is 22 meter as per the report and by and then remaining amendment and this is you know common and this you can see by default tecla will have an end bearing pile but here we're designing a friction pile so generally when we have a hard solid surface at the bottom and we have to rest the pile on that then we design the you know end bearing pile this in this particular uh, option we are designing going for the friction pile okay when we don't have a hard solid surface up to a particular depth and we decide that the skin friction the friction between the soil and the pile will take care of all the loading that is a friction pile so we're going for the friction pile and pile capacity as you can see so you don't need to touch this the, in the older versions of the tecla structural designer thd you will find only this axial compressive and axial uh, you know tensile tensile resistance so just what you need to do you just need to open the report and see this is the 42 ton capacity so and the tecla is asking here in your kilonewton so this is a common uh, you know example so just 42 ton uh, means uh, i'll convert this 42 ton into uh, your kgs per so 42 ton means your 42 into 1000 kilos so it is 4200 kilos so now to convert kg into kilonewton that is a very simple uh, rule you can multiply by 9.81 right just multiply by 9.81 and your kg will be converted into your uh, you know your this uh, kilonewton sorry newton okay your kg will be converted in newton to convert kg into newton just to multiply by 9.81 right so when you multiply by 9.81 my kg is converted into newton so now i need to convert into kilonewton so i'll now divide by 1000 so when you divide by 1000 what is my answer it is 412.02 so don't need to do anything with this by default this is 20 just uh, you know just enter this 412.02 in here 412.02 and here also enter the same value don't need to go anywhere else 412.02 just enter this and you're good and the vertical uh you know linearity and spring stiffness and if you're advanced you can change this but this is the by default one so no need to you know touch this uh you know in in general terms there is no need to touch this let's click on okay on the things which i have shown these are the most commonly things which you need to know 
from the soil test report i have just shown you and if your soil test report doesn't have this data uh, make sure you know you can just start you know get back to them and tell them i need this data there is definitely standard soil test report all these are given okay so then you need to click on okay okay now my pile catalog is ready once the pile catalog is ready the job in the thd software is nothing just select the pile cap column and you know before that also i'll recommend you go to another step okay go to settings and go to foundations and go to your uh, i can see your isolated footings here right and uh, in the isolated footings in you go to pile cap right pile cap right in the pile cap you just uh, change the you know your reinforcement grade because like uh, obviously if you need to change because in india we are using uh, most commonly we have fe5 and now companies have also come up with fe600 also but at the market level most commonly is fe500 is there so i am using fe500 steel minimum dia i use 12 and for the uh, you know that maximum one uh, i use uh, let's keep 25 because this is a large building so you can use 25 500 mm dia and i'll just click on okay i'm and minimum clear spacing 100 and uh, uh, maximum clear uh, spacing principal bar spacing 300 minimum maximum i like, you know i can reduce it as well i'll give 200 and minimum this also uh, i'll do as uh, 200 so you know just uh, you can just change this you can as per your preference there is no need no compulsion to change all this i am just showing because generally in india these are the type of uh, you know this reinforcement grade which you consider that's why i have changed this otherwise you don't need to change this okay just click on okay if you want to just save it for now and if you just click on save here what happens is uh, any time you use a software that will be saved so that's a good option so next thing what you need to do just need to click on the pile cap column and just left click and select the entire structure so as you can see by default it is you know taking this uh, you know pile caps and by default two pile will be given in each of the pile now the pile is not designed only it is giving uh, you know showing the arbitrary results now just click on your design pile caps so when once you click on the design pile caps option the pile cap will be designed some members may uh, get failed and later you can just change the depth of that pile and uh, and then you can make it say but now i'm not going to focus on that making some you know pile cap as you can see uh some the ones in red if i just increase the depth uh, if i i'm just showing you how to increase the depth i'm just uh, showing you just uh, take this and uh, after that you can just increase the you know depth of this uh, pile dimension now uh, just select this as you can see depth to 1100 and i've also made an you know video on that i'm just showing you yeah this is it bar spacing inside layer outside layer top cover and uh, here we have uh let me see depth so just change the depth and then it will be good with the uh you know that uh, i'll just uh, make a separate video on that uh, how to you know make this uh, foundation safe and maybe the next part but now on the showing you the pile has been designed and let's look at the layout okay if you just go to your structure and uh, go to levels go to your foundation level okay the bottom most level obviously the foundation level and zoom in this the foundation level and uh, now you can see that we have four pile we have you know this uh, six pile we have three pile as well we have two pile as well all types of pile we are having and this this is also on uh, the shape of pile which we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 and inside you can um, generally basically you can just combine these two piles together and make a combined footing and then also these are the minor adjustments you need to do the software is uh, you know kind of overlapping the two piles Because it cannot understand that two are overlapping, so there are some you know minor mis you know corrections that you can do. Uh, what you can do, like you can increase the size of this particular pile so that it spreads out. So like there are some minor adjustments which you, you can make in your you know AutoCAD file as well. No need to do it in the software. Just if you just understand it, and uh, and after that I think you will be good. You can just uh, go to your you know draw and foundation layout and just click on OK. And if you want to save the location, just keep the desired location where you want to save and then you can just get the cat file as well in the cat file all the details will be given i'm just uh, just showing the cat file for you so in the cat file uh, i can see the kind of details which are given here as you can see the foundation layout which is see number of files you can see in every particular foundation and if the file every you know suppose uh, i'm saying to suppose this is pc uh select this suppose the pc 307 327 so you can search in the three pile uh here 
uh, say, suppose this is PC 307, 327. You got this, and the detail you can find here, the reinforcement here. Uh, 25 mm bars are used, and here also uh, you can find the details. So uh, you can enable the top reinforcement bar as well. And now only bottom is enabled, so you know bottom is there, but we can enable the top as well. And the top, and and in fact the ones uh, foundations which have failed, if we enable the top reinforcement bar, the minimal you know 200 mm spacing bars, if we give at the top 16 mm or 20 mm, 25 mm, whatever, if we give at the top, then uh, you know it, the ones in red will be safe. But you know this video is made for you know basically so that you can just uh, see the process of making pile and the troubleshooting part. Uh, I'll not uh, just uh, lengthen today's video troubleshooting part and how to do all the remaining things. I will just uh, you know just share in another video. But you know I hope that today's video got you an approach and if you're, if you're looking for the answer to you know how to design a uh, pile in the Techless Textile Design, it helped you. And uh, if you have stuck into the, my channel for the first time, uh, you know, consider subscribing it and, uh, you know, just to drop a like to show your support. It will be a lot because, uh, you know, I'm just making videos on uh, various topics and, uh, you know, this Tecla structural engineer is my specialty, but other things also I'm um, uh, trying to make videos so that, uh, you know, I can give an exposure uh, to all to you know the various uh, things related to civil engineering so you know consider you know becoming uh, a subscriber so that's all and uh, wherever you are stay well okay take care bye